best small rag model is currently available on Olama. This is a model from a company called Cohere whose specialization is rag ritual augmented generation. For those who do not know what is rag, rag is a technique where you give additional context that you retrieve from some kind of a data source to the LLM so that the LLM understands the context better than what it knows in its knowledge and then augments that as part of its result and then gives you a better answer. So this is the exact same technique that companies like Perplexity and Glean have been using to raise multi-million dollars and also serving their users. But a lot of users would love to set up their local RAG. Then you would want small language models that can help you with RAG. And that is exactly where Command R7B, a 7 billion parameter model in the Command R series helps you. This is the smallest model from Cohere in the Command R series. The model is not entirely new, but today Olama supported this particular model. So I thought it's the best time for us to talk about this particular model. Command R 7 billion parameter model comes with a 128,000 context window, which is very, very important if you are doing RAG because RAG requires like a lot of data. So the larger amount of context window the model can efficiently support, it is better for the model and also better for the use case. Also Command R 7B supports in citation verified RAG. It supports multilingual it has got a multilingual support, tool usage, and a bunch of other things that are required for agents. In terms of benchmark, if you see the hugging face, open LLM leaderboard benchmark, command R7 billion parameter model is much better than, you know, their counterparts of the similar size, better than Llama 3.18 billion parameter model, lot better than Mistral or Ministral 8 billion parameter model, and Gemma 2, is there a model called Ministral? I don't know. Like I thought it is Ministral. Anyways, it will be a lot better than Gemma 2, which is from Google. And Command R R7 billion parameter model. If you see benchmarks, the average score is 31.4. But there are like other benchmarks. This model does overall a pretty good job on open LLM leaderboard. Now, the most important reason why I decided to cover this particular model is because of its RAG benchmark. And if you see the RAG benchmark on multiple use cases like conversational RAG tool use or react. This is the three step process where you build an agent solution, react agent solution, not the JavaScript framework. So if you see this and all these benchmarks command R 7 billion parameter model is way better than its counterpart. So this actually tells us that this is a model that you should ideally start using if you are trying to use for uh, any local rag setup or even for conventional natural language processing use cases. The model right now is available on Hugging Face, sorry, Olama. It was already available on Hugging Face. The model is available on Olama. So first thing that you have to do is you have to update your Olama. Easiest way to do is you go click your Olama on the toolbar, click restart to update. This will update the Olama for the first time. And the one thing that you have to keep in mind about this model, this model does not let you use the model for commercial purpose. I mean, using it locally within your computer, I don't think you're going to use it for any commercial purpose, but something for you to keep in mind if this is a model that, you know, you want to use it in your day-to-day -day business. And once the Olama is updated, all you have to do is go to your uh, local terminal and the name of the model. So you can just do this. And in this case, it actually tells you to run it. So which means the model itself will be directly pulled for the first time. So the model has been successfully downloaded and it is in our current environment. So all we have to do is we can just go start chatting with the model. So you can start with a very simple question. Um, tell me a joke about Mr. Elon. This is like a standard question that we have been asking and you can see in real time how much time it takes. Why did Elon Musk bring a ladder to the party? Because he wanted to reach new heights. Ha ha ha. But this is not the most important use case that you would use this model with. The most important thing that you would want to do with this model is to use this model for long context purpose and also for RAG. So I want to show you quickly how you can actually create a long context window with this model. By default, you will not have long context. So, so that is something that you have to change with Olama's model file, where you have got a bunch of other parameters. So from is where the model is, the parameter is where you are going to actually specify what is that thing that you're going to give. Like in our particular case, we are going to do something called num underscore context CTX that stands for the context window. So basically a model file will look like this. The name of the file is model file from whatever the model that you want or a couple of parameters that you want to set like temperature is equal to one, temperature is equal to zero. And then if you want to set a system prompt, you can set a system prompt and then the parameter num underscore context gives you what is that particular context window for that particular model. So what I'm going to do now is 
I'm going to just simply go here and then say nano and model file. That's it. I'm going to do nano model file and I've already copied the code here. So this is the model name that we have got and we have got the parameter number underscore context. I'm going to paste it here and then exit from here, save the file, save it there. That's it. Now, when I go run this model, basically you can paste a really long context window. So, okay. So to understand the long context capability of this model, what I've done is I've taken the entire Wikipedia page and I've kind of like understood like what is the token count, which is about like 17,000 tokens, which is within the limit of this model. We have said hundred thousand tokens and I wanted to see if this model is actually really, really good. So let's see if the model is good. I've, uh, I'm going to ask a very simple question from the middle of this, which is at the 74th Tata chess tournament, what is like Carlson's position? So we're going to go back. I'm just going to literally copy this and copy. Okay. At this, I copied everything at the 74th, um, Tata steel chess, what rank Carlson scored okay let's see if it can work go back to your terminal and first invoke the olama olama run command r7 billion ideally it should work with the longer context that we have said i'm just going to type everything and send it because the question is also there I'm not using a rag setup here let's see what the model is doing if the model can even actually answer at the 2024th okay it's giving me a lot of information here um, what Carlson? Okay. Uh, Magnus Carlson finished in fourth place. This tournament took place in Vikanze, Netherlands. First of all, is it Vikanze? Okay. It took place in Vikanze, which is correct. And it says Carlson finished in a shared second place. So it says fourth place, which is kind of wrong from what the model said. So to quickly check if this is the only LLM that is doing this, I'm going to send the same thing to my favorite long context model. And as you can see here, Google has very correctly said the, he got a shared second place. So, okay. So the benchmarks are good. The model seems to score really good in the benchmarks of rag, but I'm quite skeptical if the model is good for hundred K context window. Still, this is a model that you can use if you're using rag, but I would love to put this model through multiple more tests for long context use cases and see how the model is performing. Nay, either way, this is a good model if you want to use it for RAG or local tool usage. If you are a big fan of Olama workflows, then this is a model for you to try it out. See you in another video. Happy prompting.